Here's another little cool way to close loop uh, the SSG, which I'm actually just now kind of realizing. Um, if you look close at the schematic and the way that it's working, it's basically charging your run and charge batteries. It's charging your charge battery and it's charging your run battery, and they're in series. But it's using the resistance of both. It's charging through the resistance of the charge battery. Uh, so it's a good idea to have equal capacitance. A lot, of, a lot of different things going on. I guess too much to, to get into. But a good way to see uh, the efficiency of your motor without uh, needing a lot of uh, expensive equipment is to simply follow the schematic use a diode don't use a bridge um, from my experience I feel like we're dealing with a directional thing north and south are directions and you're utilizing one direction because your rotor physically can only spin one direction at a time that's not AC that's DC if you want to look at it that way so naturally you're, you're, you're sending energy out from DC your rotor is spinning in DC and you're getting AC back out so what happens to the other half of the wave that you're not using uh, when you send it to the charge if you use a, a bridge then the, the whole entire wave is going to your charge and your rotor is going to get less if you use a regular diode you're only using half the wave and if you use the half that your rotor is not spinning if, you, if, it, if it's if the direction your rotor is spinning is not the same direction of the wave that you're sending to your charge to the diode then it's not going to slow this is the conclusion I've come to and what you can do is basically just bypass your charge battery take your positive output you can see mine I got the diode coming from the collector and going to this positive little terminal you can run that straight to your positive of the input leave the negative open you don't want to connect the negative on there too because that's going to show it's a battery but what that will do is it will send the spikes directly to your run battery now as if uh, that was the charge also um, now with this motor it almost sustains itself it won't quite do that and I have some ideas one being that since this is a true SSG I can load the rotor more and it will draw less which will actually make it want to sustain a lot more so I'm thinking about maybe attaching some uh, belts to some DC motors and seeing what that does but I'm going to show the difference first I'm going to start it using a, that's, that's my run battery voltage and so you can as the motor is spinning watch the voltage uh, fall just running regularly lighting the neon no charge battery voltage dropping fairly quickly because I'm drawing about uh, 200 milliamps right now okay so now I'm going to take my positive output from the diode and connect it directly to the positive of the input battery and watch the voltage voltage starts to climb because it's inputting back its own spikes uh, for more efficiency now it's not going to run itself like this but it has the capability to has the potential to you see the neon is not lit anymore because the spikes are going back to the run battery I've just omitted the charge battery in the SSG